So today, this was the first time we presented this, we launched it. It's a new project called Today's TV because the real focus is about what does TV mean today? What does it mean to the consumers? And how are they thinking about it? Because it's really obvious that as an industry, we keep talking about this very often without or in isolation of what's really happening out there. Um, and that's what we presented today with the most important finding that people define TV as the shows and movies that they watch. So tell me the specifics of the, of of the, the research itself. Yeah. Okay, so we spoke to 10,000 people in 10 countries through an online survey, and then we also um, got to watch TV with people, which is the best day in the office ever. You go watch TV with people. Um, but then also, um, in a number of households, we put GoPro cameras, obviously with permission and everything, that were filming consumers for a few days on how they watch TV and how they engage. Um, and that was really, really re revealing. So it helped us to understand what's really happening when we're not there, because there's something you could say and then not do, and vice versa, there's things that people do but don't really talk about. So tell me about the profiles of these consumers. How broad reaching are they? Was it narrow focus? Tell me about that. It was as broad as we could possibly make it. So we deliberately also went outside of the big metropolis um, because we wanted to see real people in the real world. Um, uh, as I said, 10 different markets. So the, the US is in there, the UK is in there, Argentina's in there, Germany was in there, and I can't remember the other ones. But um, it's a large, large sample. And we tried to get different household structures as well. So families with small kids, family with grown kids, families with no kids at all, um, roommates, um, people living on their own. So we truly tried to capture the overall landscape. So what were the things that were most surprising to you? Well, I think the first thing was that people really, really love TV. And I know this because we've talked to them all the time, but the energy that, or the, like when they talk about their favorite shows, the way they're faces light up, like the, the true energy is just amazing when it comes through. And it really should, us as an industry, it should make us feel really, really special. Like we have a really special place in people's hearts uh, and we just need to live up to that or continue to do so. Were there certain attributes or qualities or similarities um, or patterns in the content that evoked the most emotional connection from the audiences? Not, not in the content. That's what, another one of the really interesting things is simply because Everybody is an individual and they care about different things in different ways, right? And there are people who get incredibly emotional about the last nature documentary. And then there's people who get emo incredibly emotional about the awards show, blah, 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 or the last drama, or their soap opera, or that comedy, or whatever that kids show. So it, it is less about the genre, it's more about what does TV do to me or for me. And it really boils down into these three, um, things, three topics that have never really changed and TV continues to deliver on that. One is it's me time, it's indulging, right? It allows me to just have a little bit of myself stuff, that's one. Two is it brings people together in the home and that is true of families, that's true of roommates, that's true of friends coming over. It gives you something to talk about um, and as one of our respondents was saying at some point, it's like, well, when you go to the office on Monday, you need to talk about something. So what else are you going to talk about but what you just watched? Um, so it truly brings people together physically and um, uh, socially. And then the third thing is it just makes the world a smaller place. So it allows you to explore and experience all that is out there from your armchair or your sofa or your living room. Um, and it truly is appreciated by people about um, how it's, it's a learning experience. And that doesn't just apply to documentary type things. It's about exploring the world. That's awesome. I love hearing television talk talked about in a way such that it's bringing humans together in a healthy, positive yeah. way. And about our, for our industry, I think that's a lovely breath of fresh air. Yeah, so. I totally agree. And even, like, even you say, oh, second screening and nobody's paying attention and all that type of thing. It's just not true. So as, as we heard, um, already earlier today, passive viewing is incredibly important and incredibly powerful for um, commercial messages. But aside from that, from a consumer perspective, yes, my five-year-old might be over there doing something on their tablet, but they're in the same room as me, right? right? We can still have a conversation. We're still physically together. And really what TV does is, is it's that digital fireplace. Um, it brings us together. It, it truly is we're gathering around to explore and experience something together.